Well, this is my Zap Zebra. This is a great little town car. Hello. <laughs> it's just under a ton without the solar panels and I added 42 pounds of solar panels. There are six 12 volt batteries in this car down near the floorboard. So the low, there's a low center of gravity, no chance of the car tipping over. And it'll go 40 miles per hour on a flat, surface or downhill. Going uphill, the car weighs so much that it is a little slow. It goes about 20, 25 miles an hour. We had a few little things go wrong. Door handles break. They're very flimsy. Plastic. The car itself, it's solid. I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a tank. <laughs> It's basically a covered motorcycle. It's, it's just uh, three-wheeled. It's registered as a motorcycle. It's got a place for four passengers. can carry up to 500 pounds. Let me show you where this plugs in. Here is a little, uh, just a reverse one, 110 plug. You plug an extension cord in there here from any household current and uh, the car charges up in from two to six hours. It's got an onboard smart charger which tapers down automatically and shuts off. There's a control panel. This is um, for forward, neutral, reverse. Uh, this is when you're in reverse you have to push this button to activate the motor uh, which also activates a beeper which, because uh, it's illegal to back one up without a beeper. Uh, and then we've got headlamps, extra headlamps, heater. The gauge on the left is the voltmeter. That's kind of like your gas gauge and your power gauge. It tells you when your batteries are getting low. On the right-hand gauge, the amperage draw, which can be up to two or 300 amps on uh, on an acceleration. The middle gauge is a speedometer in kilometers and miles per hour. We're just coasting now, but when I step on the gas, step on the accelerator, you can see the voltage doesn't drop too much. But uh, we're going downhill. Coming uphill, the voltage really drops down. So it draws a lot of, a lot of power. It's a good little concept. I'm very hopeful uh, that uh, this will inspire others to build these kind of cars in the U.S. This body and chassis was built in China and the electronics was put on here in the U.S. There's no reason we couldn't build these in the U.S. and mass produce them. Yeah, they're very economical, very low cost, no, almost no maintenance cost mm -hmm. and uh, charging cost is minimal from five to ten dollars per month depending how much you drive it. So we're drawing some amps, about 100 amps right now. 150, 200 amps, 250 amps. Back to zero. If you let up on the accelerator, all your gauges go back up. Your voltage goes back up to the top and uh, amperage goes down to zero. Driving this car around town has made so many people happy. We get people calling us, waving to us all the time. They love this car and I know it offers hope to people, seeing, just seeing it go down the road.